Hello, everyone. Welcome back to AAAS Publishing. And uh, we want to talk a little bit about the impact of current events on the journals. And I am honored today to have the editor in chief of the journals, Ethan Vishniak. And so, Ethan, why don't you take it away for a little bit? Okay, well, uh, I think the first thing I want to tell everyone is that I'm well aware that we're all stuck at home. Large numbers of us have responsibilities which come with that, which preclude thinking about astronomy for any significant amount of the day. Um, that's the way life is. Children are important. Your loved ones are important. Elderly relatives you may or may not have living with you are important. I have some of those things, but not all of them. So I have a little bit more time. Um, we don't know who's able and willing to perform professionally at this trying time. So some of you are going to keep getting referee requests. They may be unwelcome or inconvenient. So I'd like to apologize in advance. If you get one of those and you cannot imagine dealing with it, it would be nice if you would tell us. But if you can't, that's OK, too. We'll just move on. We'll all get through this. Indeed. Uh... Yeah, thanks. So how is, um, how is the current situation uh, impacting our editorial processes? Well, I feel like I should knock on wood. Um, our editors are all healthy so far. We're all good. Um, we're working from home, but Many of us are used to doing that anyhow. We have a distributed editorial system. If you do submit a paper, congratulations. We can take it. We'd love to take it. Uh, we will rush out and find a referee for you. Bearing in mind that I just said that finding a referee may be challenging. So we need patience. Not only in finding a referee, but in the course of a few weeks, when people might be expected to turn in a report, someone's situation might have gotten dramatically worse. So if your report is late, please be understanding. We're all doing the best we can here. Absolutely. Uh, and for those who might be concerned about access to our journals, uh, I'll put a link in the video down below uh, that you can touch uh, that'll let you know what what our uh, publisher is doing and what our journals are doing um, and access to that. Um, yes, I've gotten a few comments from people about access to the journals. And uh, that was a little bit unexpected because of course, I was thinking that everyone who worked at an institution with a subscription would be using a VPN, but that's not really true. And if you can't, go to your office, then you can access the journals. But if you use that link, our publisher will be able to help you. Right. <clears throat> Very good. Um, anything else you want to say about uh, authors or referees or the editorial process, anything about the journals in these trying times? Not really. I think, you know, we all, we all love doing science. Um, we get rewarded for doing science, but it's not always appropriate for that to be your first priority. I'm going to rely on all of you to figure out what your first priority should be. We're here for you if you're ready to do science and here for you when you come back to doing it. Very good. All righty. Thank you so much, Ethan. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you on the next ones. Bye-bye. <clears throat>